So tell me, Kit, you told us what your mother told you, what your father told you. Mm -hmm. When you have a little boy, and it's going to happen, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, one day. Um, <laughs> what are you going to tell him? What are you going to teach him? Mm -hmm. Or do you think he'll be faced with the same problem? Uh, well, um, the way the trend is now, we're not on the, the downside of this trend. Um, there's um, lopsided justice administered, and there's um, every month you hear about some youth dying by the, at the hands of a gun. I mean, even if it's by one of his peers. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. like I said, Chicago is like Iraq now. Oh. Um, I think they had something like 60 shootings last weekend or something, and um, 13 deaths. But what's going on, I think that I would tell my children when they came up that they need to stay in school. They need to be aware of how they can be perceived mm -hmm. and to not be so... Um, taken in by the media and popular culture that they want to look suspicious. Don't go mm -hmm. around looking suspicious. Don't go around looking for mm -hmm. problems so mm -hmm. you can, you know, prove people wrong because mm -hmm. a lot of ki a lot of these kids that are dying aren't being, they're, they're not thugs or anything. They're just mm -hmm. normal high school kids mm -hmm. out, for, out for a weekend. We've all done it. We've all hung out when we were younger yeah. and, and, and weren't as respectful as we needed to be mm -hmm. to people. But we got to realize there's, there's crazy people out here mm -hmm. that will take your life mm -hmm. and use the law to justify them taking your life. Mm -hmm. So I would tell my my kid that um, you you got to know that you're going to be perceived as a threat. So do what you can to make sure you can prove those people wrong. Mm -hmm.